Now this is one of my favorite ways to prepare chicken. It's very quick, super easy, but it's just so delicious and so flavorful. I absolutely love brown stewed chicken. So starting with our clean chicken, what we're gonna do is cut this into smaller pieces. Now starting with our powder seasonings, we're gonna add salt, black pepper, garlic powder, all-purpose seasoning, chicken seasoning, and also some pimento. Then we're going to add our browning and also a bit of dark soy sauce. Dark soy sauce can be used as a substitute for browning, but you're not going to get the same dark effect as you do when you genuinely use some browning. Now to chop up some of the usual suspects. So I'm chopping up half of a brown onion and I'm also chopping up a few cloves of garlic. I'm also chopping up some green onions, some tomatoes, some bell pepper, and finally some ginger. Now you add this all back to the chicken that we seasoned a little earlier on and then you want to massage it all together. You want to marinate this in the fridge for as long as you can. A rule of thumb is usually around three hours. If you can do it overnight, obviously that is amazing. But if you're short on time, say you've just come back from work and you're cooking this meal, feel free to season it and get straight to cooking. So heat up some oil in a pot and then what we're gonna do is brown our chicken on both sides. So you want to brown it at a very high heat. Once you have browned all of your chicken, set this to the side and then we want to take the vegetables that we chopped up earlier and cook them in these chicken juices. So you do this on a high temperature for around two minutes until the vegetables have cooked down. At this point, we re-add our chicken. We add some boiled water until the chicken is just about covered and then you can pop a scotch bonnet on top too for a little bit of heat. And don't forget your fresh thyme sprigs. Cook this on a medium to high temperature for about 20 minutes. And then what we're going to do is add a little bit of ketchup to just add a tiny bit of sweetness to the meal. Cook this for a final 10 minutes on a medium to high temperature. Remove your fresh thyme sprigs where the thyme on the sprigs would have actually separated and gone into the mixture now. And then after 10 minutes, enjoy this absolutely flavorful, delicious, juicy chicken. If you like this video, please remember to comment, like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.